Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at your weekend reading and see what messages are coming up. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Also, you don't have to be a Virgo to listen to this. Okay? You could have, uh, you could be any sun sign and have Virgo somewhere else in your chart. All right, let's take a look. You have the dragonfly, heart with the key. So this weekend, oh my gosh, we're going into June. Um, May 31st through June 2nd. Okay, you've got the dragonfly, heart with a key, and a camera starting off this weekend. All right, let's get into this. Let us get into this reading starting on Friday, the 31st. Be lighthearted, finding something else, something's coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. All right, something's coming to light on Friday, and what could that be? Okay, you've got the hermit. You have the Three of Cups. Oh, somebody's going to come in on the weekend, communicate to you, initiate some communication, maybe ask you out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hmm, finding out. So, yeah, um, I don't know if this is a, su a surprise. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it, but it doesn't not feel like it. Um, could be uh, a Virgo. A Virgo reaching out to you. You could be like having a light bulb moment yourself and making a decision that you're going to go to some party or you're going to go on that date. You're going to, you're going to, yes, you're going to come out of hermit mode. Either way, there's a social event and I see an invite, whether it's coming from you or towards you. Friday, yes, there's communication, breaking through some kind of obstacle um, and being with someone or other people. I, that's mostly what I feel like on Friday, okay? Now you could be going to like maybe a three, have an event at three o'clock, <laughs> something from like three to nine, I'm hearing. There could be something going, or the timing from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, let me just get a clarifying card for the hermit, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Some of you might have been dreaming about something like this. Are hoping or praying about uh, maybe somebody reaching out or asking you out yes it's gonna happen um, and for others uh, look it, you've been I don't want to like stereotype genders okay but I will say this somebody has just been in hermit mode too long has been passive a little bit lazy and disengaging from people and it looks like friday is either time to accept that invitation or time to invite someone okay friday is calling for you to maybe get up off the couch stop laying in bed <laughs> you don't have to do a friday you could do a saturday you could do a sunday go just go go on this thing go do this thing on friday if you are that person that if you're that virgo that has just been Maybe you're recovering and you're starting to feel a little bit better and it's okay for you to go out. You're recovering from something or to social event or do something. I'm hearing go, okay? Um, even if this is you going by yourself, where there's going to be other people, they're saying go. Okay, so that's Friday's energy. Friday, whatever it is, whatever your situation is. Friday's energies are good for you. It'll be a positive experience. That's what I'm hearing. Now, Saturday, you have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. Okay, you have the three of pentacles. There you are, single as a Pringle, stressing, <laughs> of course. All right, needing to make a decision. Um, Okay. So here's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Saturday's energy is you, you're, you're trying to do this whole, oh, let me open my heart. I want to meet somebody. Let me welcome love. I want to get together with someone. So it'll be just perfect between us. Someone, but at the same time, you're mentally like, no, <laughs> there's no cup energy here. Your mental state, like your wish and what you want, you know, is there. You want that. Your heart wishes for that. But your mental state is, Saturday's like, no, 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 uh, no, 
No, don't want it. Just going to work and build me. I feel like you're going uh, I feel like you're going to get some insight. Your heart's going to start talking to you. Kind of coincides with Friday a little bit. Some of you might be just a little jaded about stepping back out again. You might have got your heart hurt before or somebody did a number on you which was really not normal when something happened. Um so there's your heart's kind of singing to you. Your heart has this song. You know, where it's that it's that old song. Listen to your heart when they're calling for you. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. And your heart is singing that song, but your head's like, nope, nope, I'm blocking, nope. I'm, I don't feel like I'm mentally ready. I'm good with just working and taking care of business and, you know, training or doing whatever on the job or learning new skills. You know, I feel like, I feel like I need to tell you this weekend so far, this overall message is to break out of your comfort zone and you've got to because you're stuck. You might be stuck. And when you're stuck, that gives way to passivity and that gives way to settling because it's safe, right? Because nobody can hurt you where you are. And if you're in your cocoon, nobody's telling you to get out there and just, you know, go explore the world. It's just one time. This weekend, I feel like the overall message is do something that's not typical of you, your behavior, or hasn't been. Step out of your comfort zone a little bit, you know? Um, I totally understand the energy of wanting to feel safe here and not get hurt or not have to go through something again. But at the same time, you'll never experience great love that way either. Unless you take another risk, you can't live your life like in fear, is what I'm hearing. You know, so I feel like that's the biggest message so far this weekend is to just step out a little. Look, for some of you, that might just mean change your clothing or your wardrobe. <laughs> it could be that simple. If that's what you need to do to just kind of step outside of yourself a little bit, do something different, wear something different, go somewhere different. Get out of your routine and it's such a virgo virgos like to be in the routine you know just because virgos like their routine but to do something a little bit off base like let me give an example right i like to read i don't know why i'm sharing this because it's probably really stupid but <laughs> i'm very routine i'm very very routine i like things to be i just stick to my schedule much as i can you know depending but i like really into books I read a lot and um out of the blue i bought mary shelley's frankenstein right now for some of you like so but for me that's such an old book and i just kind of took a look i just i wanted to relook back into the psychological aspects i guess that's not out of the zone but it looks like i'm reading a kid's book you know the cover of the book it shows like frankenstein's face which looks like i don't know herman munster but i just kind of like for me it's uh, it's different you know usually i read books that are really um doc like true stories stuff like that but i don't know there was something about the book and, and that's kind of what I, i'm trying to give you an example of like just doing something that you normally wouldn't do explore a topic get in find, learn something new okay which you're that's pretty much you anyway, Virgo, because I know you like to learn things. But there's some there's some kind of fear that's holding you back that's kept you not being colorful, like bringing out your colorful personality more so than it is. Do you know? Like some of you are maybe just love to wear colors. Maybe you need to wear black. Uh, some of you, maybe you've got to just start walking for exercise, and you don't have to like go and pump tons of weights. Maybe you just need to start walking. Whatever it is, different from your usual routine. I, I don't even feel like you guys really get the gist of that Frankenstein book. I just don't know why I shared that. <coughs> for me, that's totally because I'm very much in my routine. Anyway, camera for Sunday. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. Okay, let's take a look camera a camera taking pictures making memories seeing things in a particular way learning from a past learn this weekend might be a little bit profound for you okay look you've got love 
Oh, you got strength. And the first court card, the King of Cups. Ooh. Hmm. So, there may be somebody on your mind who's a King of Cups. Whom, there's a new love start with this person. There's something to do with pictures, learning from the past, making new memories with this person, or making memories with them. So this could be a past person, but there's a new love start on Sunday. A brand new beginning here. Strength and courage. Reaching out to this person. Could be them reaching out to you. There might be an apology. Lessons learned. That kind of thing. On Sunday looks pretty much all about love, forgiveness happiness it looks like joy it looks like peace and definitely like a new love beginning here new love for sure so you could be meeting this person or meeting them again king of cups as always is very supportive tolerant empathetic pisces cancer scorpio there is leo energy here and uh, we said virgo as well but this ace of cups yeah there's like a there's a new emotional key emotional development that's going to happen on sunday in, re in, re in relation to a king of cups masculine or feminine where um somebody's seeing someone differently something connection to pictures maybe selfies i always used to say that's my selfie card you know like the fish is the camera lens the fish lens eye fish eye lens and the cup is a camera and someone's posing for a picture. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> so either someone is going to be looking at you, reminiscing, holding the pictures of yours as a keepsake. There might be an apology or it could be you doing that with them. The strength here though, this feels like courage. Self-love, unconditional love self-respect soothing so i feel like there's a soothing energy in relation to a water sign here on sunday it's going to be very significant i will tell you that because it's as as opposed to other things that might go down on your sunday there's something to do with pictures and falling in love okay and will it be known to you on sunday there may be some com some heartfelt communication coming forward in regards to some keepsakes, uh, lessons learned from the past, making memories, seeing someone or seeing something, keepsakes, pictures, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, okay. This is going to be really short. And with the summer coming, you guys, I am going to shorten the uh, weekend readings a bit um, just because I'm... This, it's the summer and I just like to have to have more time in the summer. So anyway, just giving you a head, heads up and letting you know. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm not going to pull charms or do anything like that. At least not today. Um, if you guys want to get a personal reading, of course, there's a link in the description box below. If you're interested in any of my extended readings, you can go over to my, my Gumroad account, my... Um, website my gumroad account i do have readings on there that aren't just extended from recent readings um i do have like some twin flames readings on there i have a whole bunch of other stuff they're very inexpensive if you are interested you can peruse all of the products that i have um and see and sometimes i put up other um videos up there that i don't put up here if you're interested in purchasing any of those you can go and check them out I have twin flame or soulmate someone wants to know there's a lot of 11 signs you found your twin flame there's a lot of stuff up there and I'll be posting more individual videos and a little bit longer if you're interested in getting any of those you can just pick and choose like going to a library just get in your books. <laughs> so I might even be able to have a rental. You can purchase them, and I think some of them you can rent and then return and then get another. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm ready to get started and hit that pool. I will see you all back here on Monday going into June. Yay! So have a great weekend. Love you all, and I will see you back here next week. Bye.
Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.